Children struggling for breath. The tiny patients here among the lucky ones, having survived a Syrian government-sponsored chemical weapons attack. In August 2013, hundreds convulsed and suffocated in Huta after government forces fired rockets loaded with sarin, an illegal nerve agent known to inflict horrific suffering and pain. We know that Bashar al-Assad's regime has used chemical weapons against Syrian civilians for many, many years. And unfortunately, this has been sort of a forgotten issue in the West. So forgotten it seems, Global News has learned an alleged former senior scientist with Syria's chemical weapons program has been quietly living in Edmonton. Last time when I saw him, maybe December or November. Of, of last year? Yeah. Residents here knew little about the allegations surrounding their elderly neighbor, who they say lived on this quiet street until just a few months ago. Very sweet old man. But according to declassified government documents obtained by global news journalist Stuart Bell, Ahmed Haitham Al-Yafi, a chemical engineer, is alleged to have worked at the Syrian Scientific Studies and Research Centre from 1974 to 1994. The 2018 Canadian Security Intelligence Report says Mr. Al-Yafi was involved in the startup phase of the SSRC's pilot plan, the purpose of which was the production of chemical weapons. A subsequent CBSA National Screening Division report says Al-Yafi held high positions of importance, including project manager and technical director, and later became Syria's vice minister of industry. Initial thoughts are, you know, first of all, why are we not deporting this person? And second of all, why are we not considering prosecuting this person? In a statement to immigration officials, Al-Yafi denied ever making chemical weapons. Since my PhD was funded by SSRC, I had legal commitments to serve the center for seven and a half years. I found myself trapped. But Canada's immigration system and a federal court ultimately disagreed. And in 2021, Al-Yafi's application for permanent residency was denied. The Edmonton house is up for sale. Neighbors say the family hasn't been seen for several months. But with no evidence Al-Yafi's been deported, the question remains, where is the former Syrian scientist living now? Heather Urex West, Global News, Edmonton.